Because you probably heard a lot about Tim Tebow, and now, uh, and now it, it's probably uh, what's the kid for the New York Knicks, Lynn? Lynn. Jeremy Lynn. Number yeah. 17. Jeremy Lynn wears. Yeah, that's that right. That's well right. Done. That's right. He, he was always a Brandon Webb fan. Was he really? Yeah. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Are you guys having fun today? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so here's what's gonna happen. Segment one here in just a minute. We're going to have. Uh, if you guys are okay with this, let us know with your applause. Kevin Towers and Kirk Gibson in segment one. Okay. Segment two, we are going to have Ian Kennedy, Daniel Hudson, yeah. and Trevor Cahill. Yeah. yeah. Three pretty good starters, what you say? Yes. Segment three, we will have Ryan Roberts. Yeah. yeah. Aaron Hill. Yeah. Segment four, we are going to kiss up to the boss and have Derek Hall up here. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's always important to do that. We, a round of applause, how proud we are that he's now back. Okay, so cool. Segment five, Where's that? interesting. We're kind of excited about Segment this one five. because it's this is their whole show. four outfielders, all good outfielders. There's only three spots in the outfield. It should be a fun spring. No, it's not like a slow pitch softball. No, it's not. You can't have a rover? We will have up here Justin Upton. Chris Young. Yeah. Jason Kubel and Gold Glover and Royal Park. Yeah. That's a pretty good lineup. It's a good one. Then the coaches segment. Alan Trammell should be in the Hall of Fame. Charles Nagy, Glenn Sherlock, and Matt Williams. And then the final segment. Pitching. It's most important, of course. Pitching is the most important part of the show. <laughs> we will wrap it up with David Hernandez, Greg Resmo, new member of the team, and JJ Fuchs. Yeah! How are we doing up in the control room? Are we ready to go? We're at the end of spring training last year. I picked up some magazine, and they had you guys as the third worst team in all of baseball. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, so that's what we, you, you was, don't worry about so that. Much, I mean, it was so much. It was. It got to the point to where it started to be a little comical, to the point to where it's like, maybe we should put this stuff in, up in our locker room just to see how bad we're supposed to be, you know, and, and just prove everybody wrong. And, and we kind of used it as motivation, and it only made us stronger. Nice facility to train in. I think that did a lot for the ball club last year, Salt River Field. Yes. I mean, it, it was unbelievable. Average. Yeah, it's yeah. average. It's better than a lot of it's, major um, league facilities. It's, it's <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah. Um, I heard quite a few guys talking about it. When you get used to working out there, it's, it's crazy to come back to Chase. It's as beautiful as Chaseville is, you know, Salt River Field is amazing. The way the fans can come out and interact with you during, like, batting practices is so fan-friendly. Uh, expected to join us. We'll be back in a minute. Right now, uh, do you think you'll be even at 90? 